Now, the reason for this cafe exemption is, is quite simple. It's to give people, particularly those who might be living alone and also working from home, somewhere that they can still meet a friend for a coffee and a chat. And we judge that is important to help reduce the loneliness and isolation that comes with some of these restrictions that are in place right now. But, and this is the other side of this balance, we are deliberately trying to reduce the volume of places that people come together so that we can stop the virus spreading. Uh, so we've got to draw any exemption really tightly. So that's why we're not allowing premises like restaurants to decide to just stop serving alcohol, become cafes and stay open. That would undermine the purpose of these restrictions. But we did realise there was a potential anomaly for existing cafes that have an alcohol licence, even though serving alcohol is very, very incidental to their business. And what I announced the other day would have forced these uh, cafes to close. And in some areas, particularly rural areas, they might be the only cafe in a village. So we decided to try to resolve this in a very targeted way. And in the 24 hours that we've been doing so, I readily accept that that has resulted in a lack of clarity. But sometimes that's the price we have to pay right now for trying to be as flexible as possible. It would have been much easier uh, and would have given much greater clarity just to stick to the position yesterday that cafes with a licence had to close. But we decided to try to strike a different balance. But I can confirm that the regulations being published today, I think they have just been published uh, before the briefing started, have a definition of cafe, which applies regardless of whether or not they have a licence. And that definition is an establishment whose primary business activity in the ordinary course of its business is the sale of non-alcoholic drinks, snacks or light meals.